morning guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already go hit that red subscribe button thank you um we just made it to the park and we're kind of just sitting here because i had to put batteries in my camera and everything else and i also just realized i forgot bella's stroller we don't live far from the park but i'm just not gonna worry about it we're just gonna walk with she's just gonna walk with me um, we brought snacks and stuff so that if we get hungry while we're at the playground or whatever, we can have those, but I'm going to have to carry the <laughs> her diaper bag now that we don't have the stroller, and that's fine, but um, it just makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go for a walk, kind of more of like a light jog, but um, what baby? It's okay. I'll open it in a minute, okay? She closed the lid on her juice. But, um, yeah, I just figured I'd take you guys along. I haven't been vlogging very often recently, and I'm sorry about that. I know I haven't been posting the computer. There was something wrong with the computer and the editing system, and then I had to download a new editing system, and then I didn't feel like editing, so then I didn't get videos up, and then because I wasn't editing, I didn't vlog. My own fault, just explaining <laughs> um but yeah so we'll get walking made it back to the house. I didn't vlog much while we were there because it's hard to vlog while you're walk running with your toddler. <laughs> and uh, that two miles that we walked took almost an hour instead of 25-30 minutes because she at the end didn't want to walk with me. Um, then we went and played at the playground for like a matter of five minutes there was a little boy there that was playing with her and then they left and she was just so tired so tired she didn't even want to walk back to the truck so I had to carry her um but yeah we're just gonna go inside and we're gonna hang out because we're both tired I've got some cleaning to do and she's supposed to go for a nap here before too long but yeah okay so this is our laundry situation um there's a few bags over there from the store but these are all bags filled with towels uh bedding blankets stuff like that and then these baskets are our clothes and then bella's two diaper bag things that we use um yeah i'm gonna go try to throw all of this into some washers luckily there's like no one here so that should not be that big of a deal. But again, I will fill you in on why I'm washing all of this in a few minutes. It's very disgusting and aggravating that it's even happening. So, um, yeah. Alright guys, so we just got done putting everything in the washer. That was 10 loads of laundry, which is a lot. But, um, so I'm going to sit down and kind of tell you the story. Um, well... A few weeks ago, this was a while ago, Bella's had lice and we don't know where she got it. I was brushing her hair and found them and I mean most of them were small but some of them were big which meant she had them for a period of time before we caught it which lice is hard to catch if you're not looking for it anyway. But she hadn't been around really any other kids and none that we know, knew of that had it. So, um, we didn't know where she got it. We treated her, um, we had to treat her, like, three times, I think, in order to get it to go 
away, but finally I was brushing her hair to look for it, get rid of it, didn't find any, figured it just went away. Like at that time I had sprayed the whole house, I washed the sheets, I did everything. And well then today, I don't know, I just had this feeling that like, I just wanted to look to see, to make sure that it was still gone. And I found like two in her hair, which I thought was weird. So then I was like, all right, well, let me check me because when she had it, I checked myself and I dyed my hair, which dyeing your hair, they say can get rid of it. And when I checked, like combed through my hair, I didn't find any. Tom looked, he didn't see any. So I was like, all right, well, she seems to be done with hers. So I'll dye my hair to make sure that I don't get any, being that I, we haven't found any. Well, sure enough, I combed through all of my hair, and I have it now. Which is extremely stressful, because not only do now I have to treat both Bella and I, because it seems to have semi-spread to her, which hopefully I caught hers early enough so she doesn't get, get it bad enough. But that's why we have 10 loads of laundry, because she has stuffed animals, and blankets, and sheets, and I, we have the sheets, and the blankets, and the pillowcases, and... All the stuff that I had just washed not that long ago that should not be... Some guy just drove by and looked at me like I was crazy. Um, you know, like stuff that I washed not long ago that shouldn't need to be washed again now needs to be washed. Like the blankets from the couch that I just washed and everything else. So all of that on top of our normal laundry needs to be washed. Which I'm glad I found it today being that I was coming to do laundry anyway while I had the truck, so then, um, you know, I didn't have to come back after I found it, but, can you put those back, please? Put them back in my purse. Anyway, yeah, that's the story. It's not fun, but we're going to take care of it. Um, I'm going to treat Bella and I this morning. I combed through our hair and got everything out that I could. My hair is so thick, and even though I just cut three inches off of it, you wouldn't know by how, like, knotted and snarled my ends are still. This is the second time that I've gotten my hair cut trying to fix it, and it just seems like it moves further up my head as I cut it off. Um... But, yeah, we're just going to sit here and wait for all that to be done so then I can go home and clean the rest of the house and spray it down and bag anything I can't wash that I don't really want to spray so then I can put that in the shed and everything else. But, yeah, that's my life right now. Alright guys, so we have been home for a little while now. I am sorry that I didn't record anything else while we were out that's my bad um <laughs> ow can you put those back in your drawer please mm -hmm. um but we've been like i said we've been home for a while now i brought all the laundry in they're still in the baskets and everything but i have just been going through and i bagged up all of bella's like um fabric-y toys that i didn't wash I did wash these guys though because her going without those was not going to be easy. So other than that I've just sprayed the floor with stuff that's supposed to kill them. Um, she's got a plastic thing on her bed so her bed's per good. Her bed's not anything to worry about but I've sprayed her pillow and then I sprayed her floor with all the toys that were already out. I just sprayed everything and then I'm going to put the toys back and spray again underneath them. I've sprayed all the curtains. Um, I've sprayed the carpet in the living room. Oh, I sprayed the little carpet in the kitchen. And then in here, I sprayed the carpet down. All the pillows, the bed. Like I said, this is all the laundry from today that I have to put away. But I don't want it touching anything that's been infested as much as possible so I'm gonna leave that in here um, I sprayed down all the floors the only problem is the fact come on out is the fact that we don't have a vacuum cleaner and from what I read online that might be why we 
got reinfested with them because they could have been hiding in the carpet. So that's why I'm making sure I get the carpets good. Hopefully we can get a vacuum cleaner soon. My mom offered to bring her over hers one day. So I'm going to take her up on that if we don't get one before then. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a problem because I've just been sweeping it, but that's not getting the lice out. So um, yeah, I'm just going to continue cleaning. I'll bring you guys along with me as much as possible.